Alright, so I already started my uh, shift uh, for the next day. Uh, we're actually headed to Katy, Texas now. My trailer uh, in San Antonio, the preloaded trailer I had a pickup was already ready, so that kind of helped out a lot. Uh, so I was able to get in and out of there. And obviously it's traffic uh, hours right now, it's about uh, 3.30 p.m. So I'm on I-10 uh, going towards Houston. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys use for Wi-Fi, but I, I got this little Solus puck and all that stuff, and um, I'm paying about 100 bucks a month for Wi-Fi, um, but I'm gonna be changing over to the T-Mobile uh, Wi-Fi because uh, it's cheaper and it comes with more um, gigs, apparently, from what I understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. I ended up canceling my subscription on that Wi-Fi. Um, I use the the Wi-Fi for like my tablet, sometimes on my phone, so I'm not using all the data uh, because of the Relay app is running constantly, constantly. I don't wanna be running through my data. Uh, and plus, if I end up getting a television or something in one of my trucks, then I'll have extra Wi-Fi and stuff, so. Hopefully this trailer when I get over there is ready, just like yesterday I was able to get in, in, in and out. Um, I think I had somebody commenting on one of my, uh, what is it, one of those um, videos that I discussed how much I made for the year and they're talking about, you know, asking for my real numbers with taxes. Remember, I live in Texas, so I don't pay Texas state taxes. There is none of that. However, federal taxes, it all just depends how my write-offs are. Uh, maybe I have enough write-offs to, I don't have to pay taxes. I'm still waiting on my tax paperwork, but there is nothing that I am keeping from anybody um, as far as revenue because I live in the state of Texas. Uh, now, if you live in a state where we have to pay taxes for the state, you know, that that's different as well as what I make and what I put back into my business is going to be completely different than everyone else. Like, um, everybody's number is different. The way people run are different. I run a certain way to keep me home every day. You can be over the road all day all, uh, you know, how however much as you want and make a certain amount. It's really up to you. Uh, but I'm comfortable with a certain amount uh, per week for right now because that's all that, that is available. I mean, there was videos that I put out that I was able to stay within San Antonio and make a certain amount per day. And obviously Amazon has changed and fluctuated throughout the months. Uh, so that's why I'm back doing contracts for the remainder of the few months and I want to be monitoring the load board because uh, I did uh, not mind leaving San Antonio and then you know there was a certain time when empty trailers would come up and I was doing empty trailers for months and then they made a transition and what I think what really happened is Amazon ended up purchasing their own equipment uh, so they just rather hire someone and pay them you know $700 per week to move empty trailers 40 hours a day or 40 hours a week as opposed to putting it up on load on the load board because I did talk to the Amazon logistics drivers and they told me they make about 700 bucks a week but there's no overtime it's just pretty much capped out at 40 hours and so we got a smooth ride here on I-10 it's gonna be smooth all the way up until I hit Katie, and then we're gonna hit some some traffic again because it is gonna be peak traffic. Welcome back, guys. We just made it to Katie, Texas. Uh, we're actually around the corner um, from the location we need to get to. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Uh, if you subscribe, you're going to get seven years of good luck. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But yeah, we're in some heavy traffic right now. So I'm trying to get out of here. I didn't use the toll roads, uh, so I pretty much stayed off the toll roads. Traffic, high traffic volume around here, man. It's just 
Like, look at this guy. He's turning in. He's turning completely from the wrong lane. This charger, you know. Like I mind these hours, but I don't mind. I mind, you know, I mind the traffic. That's what I mind. The hours is, you know, I, at least I get to see a little bit of daylight and some scenery. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but this trip today is 400 miles total round trip, San Antonio to San Antonio. Uh, yesterday was like 380 or 360 or something like that. That's our, that's our mile. So today, I think uh, the rate per mile is probably going to be at a dollar, a high dollar eighty or dollar eighty two or something like that. It'll be around there, the same as yesterday. I'm gonna take this left turn, this right turn over here. It's a tight turn right here, but I've done it enough. wheels just cleared like right on the edge of the curb every time yeah. try not to use the tolls because I like that extra money you know it'll bring my base rate up a little bit uh, when I stay off the toll roads it's not like I'm saving a crazy amount of miles just by uh, and the toll road right now, what I just saw was completely busy. Completely just, you know, sometimes it's not even worth it taking the toll road, especially in the Houston area during high traffic, because uh, you're not really saving any time. The toll road that I would I would have got off of was completely stacked, uh, completely stacked with the with traffic. Yeah, but that's uh, the Amazon facility straight across from us. This huge facility out there. There's a couple facilities out here in Katy, Texas. And there's like a back road to get in. That's like probably not even on Google Maps or, or freaking uh, on the Amazon GPS. But this back road right here is, you know, you just got to be, you know, have gone to this area a couple times to know that this road was actually here. And they're working on the gate. So it's like I got to do a manual check-in with someone at a gate. here we're gonna go ahead and manually check in or um, there'll be somebody outside the gate you know they, they 
usually like to look at the um, license license plate, and uh, you can get checked in uh, with license plate number. All right, guys, so I'm hooked up to the trailer. It's ready to go. Just uh, did a little bit of choo-choo, swallow, swallow on some sandwiches that I had. No homo. But we're ready to get out of here. We're going to Kyle, Texas now, which is north of San Antonio, before Austin. This is exit 217 off of I-35. Then I use my mud flap app to find a fuel point on the way back. Uh, check out the mud flap app, guys, to for your fuel savings. Uh, listen to me. Don't listen to me. The Amazon third-party sleepers, I talked to some drivers and they said they have to share the sleepers uh, with other, other drivers like throughout the week. Check me out on Instagram at Cologne Transport and uh, share with some more, more information uh, a lot sooner. We're ahead of schedule though, but I gotta stop for fuel, so I don't know. I don't know if this schedule is gonna adjust or what, but every time you're ahead of schedule, they like to adjust times and stuff on the schedule, with that, which I don't think they should, because then it's like, you wanna stop somewhere to get something to eat and then now you're, they readjusted the whole schedule. All right, she, she gave us the thumbs up, so we're all set. I don't have to be over there until 22.45, so that gives us four hours and 45 minutes to get to Kyle, Texas. And I need to stop for fuel. But it looks like they already assigned me a trailer. Yes, they already assigned me a trailer out there in Kyle, Texas. But it doesn't show if it's ready or not. So if it, if it is ready, uh, that's a good thing. Because then I can finish the shift early. Because from there, I'm supposed to take it to Austin. The trailer that's over there. And then take an empty trailer down to San Antonio. Uh, so I don't know. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm gonna try to upload this. I've been trying to do as best as I can with the uploads. I'll catch you guys next time.